Hey guys, Woody here with Express Screen with another one of our My Screen videos. Uh, today we're kind of changing up the topic. We're going to start talking about uh, how to start a My Screen or a screen printing business at home with the My Screen. And uh, it's pretty inexpensive, uh, easy way to get started, and uh, it's a really great system for especially using it in your house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know that this press, this is a, a four color one station press, so you are able to do four color jobs with it. Uh, the my screen and the flash tree unit you see there, along with our uh, high tension my screen frames, all that combined is about five thousand dollars. So it's a pretty inexpensive way to get started screen printing, and it's uh, really easy to bring into your house. Uh, gonna go ahead and send my first image over. Today we're gonna be doing the back of a shirt, the uh, left chest of a shirt, and the sleeve. So let's go ahead and get started. So to expose the screen, I hold down my my screen. The top of it has a uh, thermal print head in it, and our mesh has a special heat sensitive coating. So that uh, that uh, thermal print head is just burning away that heat sensitive coating wherever you want your image to go. So it makes uh, printing really easy, really simple, and uh, it eliminates all the chemicals, emulsion, darkroom, and water. So that's kind of one of the reasons that makes it so good for bringing in house is because you're not having to deal with the uh, smell of all those chemicals and those fumes and everything. Uh, all you have to do is hold that down, expose it, and then uh, get printed. So then these high tension frames, this frame that I'm putting on it right now has kind of almost, it's got little ridges on the side of it. And so those ridges pull that my screen mesh and give you the extra tension that you need. Just gonna make sure this is lined up. And then we're good to go. Use the clamps and clamp down each side that isn't going into the press. So you clamp down three sides and then leave one open to uh, fit into one of your press heads there. And so this one is actually uh, printed horizontally. So we're just gonna make sure we don't, uh, we've got it to where it's gonna be right side up in our press. And that's why you see me uh, doing one on the long side instead of two, is because we're actually going to put it in this way. Down. And so now for our um, for our other screen, we're going to do pretty much the same process. Put it in the my screen. Uh, switch over to your tab that has that image in your my screen software. Send the image, and then all you got to do again, just hold it down and that exposes it. Uh, this is also a super fast way of screen printing. If you ever tried traditional screen printing, it uh, has a much larger space requirement as well as um, a um, much longer time that it takes to expose screens. This is about 30 seconds and you're good to go. And in terms of space, this is all you really need here. With uh, traditional, you're going to need a uh, washout station the uh, emulsion station, a dark room, and all that kind of stuff. So this really cuts down your space requirement. Uh, the chemicals that you're going to be using are uh, pretty much non-existent, and it's a pretty inexpensive way to get into it. So now, same thing with this one, except with this one, we have, it's uh, vertical. So we're going to put our clamps. There, here, and here. And I have that shirt set up to where I'm printing the back of it. So we are going to start with that one. All you got to do. Slide it into your print head, strap it down, and this press is a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it also comes with legs if you prefer to do it that way instead of as a tabletop press, and we can also uh, give you a 1-1 one -one press if you're only trying to do one colors and you're just starting out, and uh, 
Another great little thing we got going on, uh, we do full value trade-ins. So if you want to start with this and work your way up to our larger models like the QS2536 back there, uh, something along those lines, we will uh, buy your MyScreen package back from you for full value and, uh, and essentially deduct that from your upgraded price. So it's easy to upgrade. Easy to print. Uh, looks like I didn't quite have enough ink there. So I'm just gonna throw down some ink where I was missing a little bit. We're gonna print this one more time to make sure we get our image nice and full and vibrant. So then, just one more squeegee stroke. I'm gonna put this back on my squeegee rack. Pull this up. And this is all you should need. Just a little flash cure. Flash it for maybe 10 seconds or so. Uh, you wanna make sure it gets cured enough so that it's not, you're not getting any ink coming off in the, uh, in the washing machine or anything but you can fully cure inks with a uh, flash cure unit. So just give it a little bit of time. That should probably be enough. And now I'm gonna flip this over because that was the back of the shirt, as you can see right there. And then we're gonna go for the front and do that left pocket that I was talking about. Like I said, the my screen it makes all this stuff really easy. Uh, if, I, if I were competing with someone who is doing vinyl, this method would be actually faster if you were doing five or six shirts, and it would be uh, a lot less expensive. The ink isn't nearly as expensive as those vinyl sheets, and uh, vinyl is also going to run you up a little bit because of the um, the the material that you're not able to use. And so right here, you see I'm kind of uh, putting this in a weird spot on the uh, actual shirt. Or I'm putting it into a weird spot in the press head right here. It's uh, a little bit out on one side and that's because my image that I've got that I'm going, that's going on this uh, left breast, it's actually printed on the right side of the screen. So we kind of just had to do a little adjustment there and then I'll get my squeegee for this screen grab some ink and again I'm gonna do two quick passes just to make sure everything's bright and colorful And then I'm just gonna flash cure it real quick. And once that's flashed, we will move on to our sleeve. For the sleeve, we actually need our sleeve platen, which I've got right here. Slide on the sleeve platen, and we're going to need to readjust this because my image is actually over here for the sleeve. And I'm also going to tape out what I don't want to see for the uh, for the chest logo. I'm just going to tape that out real quick, and I only really need to tape a small portion of it because there's uh, not that much that's really going to take over or it's a, it's a smaller squeegee so it's not going to be all the way over there. Let's make sure we got our platen how we want it. Tighten that up. Adjust our screen.
Now, once I've got that all locked in, move on to the sleeve. Drop that down, get my squeegee. Missed a little spot at the bottom there, ran out of a little, a little bit of ink, so I'm gonna put a little more on there and make sure we're getting all the way down. That is not supposed to happen, but didn't hurt anything. Gonna go ahead and print that. And there we go, that looks real nice. So then, like I said with everything else before, just gonna flash it real quick. Leave it over there for a second. Move this off. The other nice thing about this is once you're done, not even a washout station. You're not even gonna use a washout station because this system, uh, you don't reuse screens unless you're trying to get that same image out. So it's uh, super easy, super simple. You can see our prints all uh, turned out pretty nicely. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and uh, we hope you'll come back tomorrow for another video.